up YouTube? It is Ben with Bearded Spruce for a tool review. I've got a few requests recently to do an update on this Trailer XL dolly. I've been able to use it a few times. This is going to be more of a review if you're looking for a how to use and set up. I'll link to that video here where I show both how to hook it up to your trailer as well as you can see how easy it is to move back and forth on level ground using this Ryobi 18 volt drill. Um, this is more of uh, real world, world experience. I'll jump into in a second and show you some footage of me actually using this to move my Airstream into a quite tight space. The benefit of using something like this from my experience is I could not have gotten my truck to get the Airstream exactly where I wanted it. So to do that, this thing played a key role in that needing to happen. But I will say I used this drill as well as this plug-in hammer drill. Neither one of them had enough torque, even you know, on either one of these settings to move the Airstream uphill much, uh, if at all, and you'll see that. I was able to do so using the manual handle, both on the high speed and the low speed settings. And see that I'm starting to be able to move the Airstream. It is a pretty tight fit. And manual setting is actually working pretty well going up this hill, uh, this, this little ramp here. You can see right there, the brake jumped into place, which was pretty handy since it was gonna go roll down the hill. This is my first attempt and second attempt at using the drill. It is not the easiest. Eventually I get it to work. So it worked for a little bit once I actually started going up a uh, higher grade in the grass area specifically. Um, it just did not work great. So I had to switch back to manual, which works great, but is pretty exhausting. So then we decided maybe we should try to add the drill with assistance, but Honestly, it didn't really do much. Um, you can see here, I'm, this is my first time putting it in this place. Uh, hopefully I'll get better at pulling it in at a different angle and maybe making it easier to maneuver. But for the most part, this was a very tiring process. Um, and I ended up burning out one drill that was a plug-in you can see on the ground over there um, and just switching the manual because it seemed like the only way to do it. It's quite the workout um, but when you need to get it into a tight area like this or a difficult spot this is pretty much the only way um, to use some kind of dolly. See, I'm just running out of steam at this point. It is exhausting because you have to really crank on the handle while you're turning. I will say that on the website, they suggest a certain DeWalt drill that would be worth purchasing to see if that works any better than what I have in my shop. But for the most part, I think either way, uphill is going to be a battle. Let's jump back into the review. I also wanted to give a big shout out to my father-in-law, uh, John Hubbard, for helping me move the Airstream. This is definitely not a one-man job. You need someone to be able to look where you're trying to steer um, and make sure you're not going to hit anything. You can find a link to him and his wife's adventure Instagram down in the description below. They're Hubbabago and they have a lot of fun in, in their adventures with their trailer.
If you are not looking for a workout and you have to move it uphill, this is not the trailer dolly for you, unfortunately. You might wanna go for something that is much heftier, um, and but it will be much more expensive. However, if you're willing to put in the level of effort that it takes to do so, this will get the job done. One positive and negative to this dolly in particular is when you let go of this lever and it's not fully up, there's a break that happens, which is awesome in the situation where you're going uphill. It is quite difficult to keep that engaged and manually crank by yourself, especially with the weight of the tongue on here. It is just a lot of work. Would I buy this unit again? For the price, I would say you can't beat the usability. If you have a trailer on flat ground and that in a garage or something like that and your driveway is not very steep or your driveway is not very long, this is the trailer dolly for you. If you are having to move it on loose gravel a lot or uphill or up different terrain. It will get the job done, but I think there's probably some better dollies out there that you should try first. If you're on a tight budget and you can only spend a thousand bucks on your trailer dolly, go ahead and jump into this purchase. I'll link to it in the, the description below. If you haven't already and you've enjoyed this content, feel free to subscribe to my channel, like this video so YouTube continues to like my videos and check out the rest of my tutorials. Currently, my biggest project is a 1972 Lanyard Safari Airstream. I'll link to that playlist at the end of this video. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you next time.